court this month. Pejman Fatehi, Mozen Mazlum, Vafa Azarbar, and Mohammad Faramarzi were arrested in June 2022 and later convicted of collaborating with Israel. Activists have said the four members of the Kurdistan Komale party were tortured into false confessions. The mother of Fatehi went to the entrance of Tehran's Evin prison on Sunday and recorded a video message for Instagram. In the video, she appealed to governments and people around the world to prevent the execution of her only son. Shiva Mahbubi is the co-founder of the rights group Campaign to Free Political Prisoners in Iran. I asked her in a Friday phone call under what circumstances the four men might get a reprieve. The only situation that these individuals and many others who are now in danger of being executed is if there is a protest inside Iran and internationally. That's the only way. We don't have any evidence when they have forced the individual to forcefully confess to something they have never done, to be free, to be pardoned, or anything like that. Can you give an example of how this kind of protest action that you talked about has worked in the past in, in some cases? What happened when they all protest, the prisoners either they execution get delayed or their execution sentence reduced to life sentence. One of the very examples that happened in the past, someone like uh, Sohil Arabi, a well-known activist and blogger, who was sentenced to death. And because of the international campaign for him, then it was reduced to basically life sentence. So it's commuted. Yes, exactly. So what I mean by that, the only way to save these people is by international pressure on the regime, effective international pressure, and also in Iran, demonstrating on the street, strikes, or being in front of prison. And obviously, social media always helps, because we had cases, actually, they postponed the execution just because there were protests on social media. Many people use the hashtag name of that person and stop executions in Iran. And it's really helped. We have seen protests outside Iranian prisons in the past when people inside Iran hear about an impending execution. What are you hearing from your sources inside Iran about what activists there might do to try to help the four Kurdish individuals? In Iran, obviously, people don't announce what they're going to do because of the threat of the Islamic regime. So therefore, there could be protests or not. We don't know. Often what they do, they gather in front of the prisons. That's one of the things they have done always. And speak to the media. Like right now, the families of these four Kurdish political prisoners, they have spoken openly to the media. They have asked the international community to help them. So that's one way that they try to reach the audience or the mothers of some of them. They have tried to put a video on the social media. Reza Rasai, one of these eight people who just had last visit, apparently. And that means that he might be executed any minute. Now, you actually told uh, the VOA Persian service in a recent uh, interview with my colleagues that these executions that Iran has been carrying out at an increasing pace in the past year are an effort by the Iranian leadership to try to scare off people from coming back to the streets and protesting. But what about the prospect of executions actually angering so many people that they have the opposite effect, which is to actually increase the number of protests in Iran? How much of a risk is there of that scenario? Well, the latter one, basically making people more angry is the case. Because imagine like for 44 years, they've been executed thousands, and that didn't scare people. And now we are in a situation in Iran, especially after killing Gina Massa Amini and the revolution of women, life, freedom. Now people are more eager, more fearless to protest against them. So this execution is actually making them more angry. Bear in mind that regime knows there are upcoming mass protests. They know that 
they haven't killed the <laughs> protests and revolution. But we have to remember that right now, because of the war in Gaza, they use this opportunity that the international community and the people around the world, they're not watching Iran. And therefore, they actually execute prisoners on a daily basis. And I mean, generally prisoners in Iran. This year, the rate has increased 30% compared to last year. This just make people more angry. You're absolutely right. But they do not have any choice. They can't not execute because this is a regime is based from the beginning on execution and torture in prison. And therefore, they know that they have to do that. Right now, according to the our campaign's daily update, more than 100 political prisoners are on their death row. But the reason the regime, they don't execute many of them because they're quite scared of protest. So that's why they use different opportunity secretly to execute prisoner and then announce their name. As you notice, there is another change since last year. They did not execute any prisoners for saying you participated in the protests because the international support for people during the last year quite huge. So what they do, they torture them and they tell them either you have to say you're a spy for Israel or you have killed the security forces. In these cases, they legitimize or they rationalize their execution and they kill them. Well, Shiva Mahbubi, co-founder and spokeswoman of the Campaign to Free Political Prisoners in Iran, CFPPI, speaking to us from London. Thank you very much for sharing your insights on this issue with Flashpoint Iran. Thank you, Michael. You're listening to VOA 